So people say, here's what people say, right? They say, qi is just a myth. It has no scientific basis. They say, uh, it only works for people who believe in it. You have to believe in it, otherwise it doesn't work. Or they say, there's no way to measure qi. It's just what you feel, right? Who's heard of that before? Say I. OK, so how do we answer these questions? Well, let's first do the qi ball exercise. OK, so what I want you to do is uh, you guys stand up for a second. OK, make your feet um, sideways, uh, I mean, like uh, apart, and then like shoulder width apart, and then kind of like hang your hands in front of you, OK, like there's a big ball in front of you, OK? And then I want you to open up your hands. Imagine there's like a, like, like a string connecting the centers of your palms to each other, OK? Now, I just want you to imagine it's an elastic string, and then you're pulling it apart, and you feel it pulling it back in. Okay. Then you want to push it back together. Imagine you're like squeezing like an energy ball, and it's kind of like pushing back. It's like an elastic ball, slowly. Okay, go really close to your hands together and open it up again. Okay, how many guys are feeling something in your hands? What do you feel? What is it? What's the feeling? Resistance. Resistance? What a, huh? Tingling? Heat? Okay, keep moving it back. Imagine you're kind of like playing with this, the energy ball is getting bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. Okay, now I want you to add something else. So when you're opening it up, breathe in. And you, when you uh, uh, make it come together, you breathe out. Okay, how many can feel something? Okay, you gotta bring your hands right close to each other like this. Okay. Okay, now I want you to add more, one more thing. I want you to go. How? Just say how when you go in, and when you open, you say la, and then how and la. Okay. How do you feel now? What do you feel in your hands? Coolness. Coolness? Tingling? Tingling? Tingling. OK, now make it really close. Is it getting stronger? I can feel it, right? Yeah. Something there. What is that? <laughs> Something there. I want to move it around your body. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? OK. So what you want to do is breathe in really fast and clap your hands. Hold it together, and then massage. OK, how does that make you feel? Good? OK, have a seat. Thanks. OK, so that's a, called the chi ball, energy ball exercise. And most people can feel heat, tingling, numbness, uh, cooling. Uh, anything else that you guys feel? Uh, resistance, weight, heaviness. All sorts of different feelings, right? So uh, you guys never practice Qigong. And we can all do this. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. We all have the ability to do this. It's just a amount of training. So that's the Qi ball exercise. Now you're saying, well, it's just in my mind. This is nothing real. It's just my imagination, right? Um, well, here's how scientists measure Qi. There's many ways that scientists can measure Qi. EEG, ECG scans, kinesiology like muscle testing, thermography, thermo thermography yeah, like infra infrared, electrodermal measurements for bioelectricity, biophoton emissions for visible light. So we can actually measure visible light coming from your hands. Also, high voltage electrophotography. So biophoton emission counting. So this is actually a photo taken by a highly sensitive camera that takes pictures of photon emissions. Who's, who's watched um, um, Captain Marvel? Right? The, the photon blast. This is exactly what we're talking about. Photon blast, photon emissions from your hands. So our body actually emits visible light. And you can capture it with this camera. This is not heat. This is actually visible light. And they found that the strongest emissions of biophotons come from your hands. 
especially from your fingertips. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So there's experiment done with Qigong healers in patients. Qigong healers who use their Qigong to heal someone, they measure higher photon emissions from their hands. And the patients, after the fact, had more biophoton emissions from their body after the healing session. Who's seen this, this hand position? You see a lot of kung fu movies, right? Obi-Wan Kenobi, he goes like this, something like that. So um, this is a mudra. And Taoists use this for focusing their qi energy into their index finger. And guess what? They use a camera, biophoton camera, and they, they confirm that that is actually where the photons come out of when they use this um, special mudra. You have it in uh, Ayurvedic medicine too? Okay, yes. So that's one way. Second way is through high voltage electro electrophotography. So what we have is a camera that has a plate on it that's charged with electricity. When you place your fingers on there, it will take measurements of the energy that's coming in from your fingers. And it takes a picture that looks like this. So um, it analyzes with the software and it actually creates and draws out your biofield in less than a minute. So an example of someone who's using energy healing on the left, you can see that the, um, the energy is more intense, it's brighter. And then on the right side, you can see someone's fingers when they are just at rest. So you can see the difference. Here's an example of 10 scans of the fingers of someone who is using the, uh, the camera, measuring their aura. So from the fingers, actually let's go back. So what, these, what this does is our fingers, each, each section of our fingers represents a meridian in our body, represents an organ or a system. So what happens is if there's a lot of energy coming from the system, if you can see, like uh, if there's a big spike here, that means there's excess energy coming out. Or if there's a gap or something that is less, then that means there's not enough energy in that part of the system. As you can see, this part is connected to another part. It could be a throat, jaw, ear, or, or whatnot. So each part of your fingers, 10 fingers, is connected to a part of your body and your, and your meridian system. And what the software does is it extrapolates that and shows a picture of your viral field. Isn't that amazing? So you can see in the initial state, uh, in the initial state, bowel field is okay. After an hour of computer work, then it goes away. Here's another example, someone who's normal or someone who's depressed. Someone before massage or after massage. Someone who is a beginner at yoga, someone who did a lot of yoga. Someone who did qigong and then did a lot more qigong. So, who, who's, who's following this? Are you getting this? That you can actually measure qi. And we have the technology now to measure it, and we can show that it's actually having an effect, actually affecting your biofield. So who wants to know more scientific research about how electromagnetic fields affect you? Yes? Say aye. Okay, good. So guess who? Guess who? who who's more reputable and credible than NASA, right? Nobody, pretty much. They're like the top guy in science right now. So they were able to use PEMF, pulse electromagnetic frequencies, to increase human cell regeneration by 40% just by using a field. No chemicals, no drugs, that's it, just a field. Just a magnetic field at a frequency. And they were able to do that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, having a stronger chi enhances your biofield and protects you from harm. That's basically what I'm trying to get at here. Our DNA uses the language of electromagnetic frequencies. That's how it communicates. So it means that you, all of you, can reprogram yourself if you had the correct frequencies. Think about it this way. There's three paths to mastery. Either you're born with it, you train relentlessly, or you become programmed. Who's watched Star Wars? Okay. How does she learn all her powers? She's born with it. She trained. But most importantly, she just was programmed with it, right? She learned so quickly. She just downloaded it from the force. 
Huh? She was initiated. She was initiated, right. So programmed or initiated. So he, she had all those three things. So three paths to mastery is the same thing for us. Many people are, let's say, Olympic athletes. Many of them are genetically gifted. They're born with it, right? Or, uh, but then they also train relentlessly. But there's a third path now. The third path is to be programmed. Just like in the movie, and um, also like in the Matrix. Wouldn't it be cool if you can just download a program to your body or to your mind and be able to learn that just instantly? Yeah? 